Saju says teachers are working under extremely difficult conditions and RM scrambles to end global blackberry outage. From a news desk, I'm Lebo Changela. The Saju Deputy General Secretary Gosana Dolofi says teachers are working under extremely difficult conditions. He was speaking at the National Teachers' Day celebrations in Bodogwane. The union has also been holding a three-day provincial conference, which will end today. Dolofi says a lack of learning materials in many schools is a major challenge. The Mbombela local municipality has discovered that several millions of rands from the nalspid based municipality's payroll has been transferred to an unknown account. The municipalities discovered that the bank account is in the name of a close corporation outside Mpumalanga and that the account has almost been depleted. Police are investigating the case and the municipality is conducting its internal investigation. The municipality's communications manager is Joseph Ngala. An amount close to 3 million rand meant for a particular institution had been fraudulently redirected to another bank account on the municipality's payroll system. We have since reported the matter with the South African Police Services and the investigation is underway. But furthermore, the municipality is also conducting an internal investigation and any of our employees that will be found having involved in any wrongdoing will be dealt with uh, accordingly. The situation has come at Tembale to near George in the Southern Cape following yesterday's violent service delivery protests. There's no sign of protesters. However, there's strong police presence in the area. This includes the hotspot of the four ways intersection near the local taxi rank. Some of the debris, including large rocks and burnt tires, have been cleared. Yesterday, several people, including four policemen, an elderly woman and a baby, were wounded in the clashes. Sixteen people have been arrested on charges of public violence. At this stage, it is not clear when they will appear in court. And the company that makes the BlackBerry smartphone is working frantically to end a three-day global service disruption that has frustrated millions of its customers and pumped up pressure on its management to make sweeping changes. Research in Motion, in a hastily announced conference or call on Wednesday, vowed to eventually deliver or delayed email and instant messages to customers in five continents affected by the outage. It later told some of its corporate clients that it may not clear the huge backlog of messages until Thursday morning on the U.S. East Coast. And it apologized to customers in a statement on its website and on its Facebook page.